It's a long way down. Yes, it is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't do that. Come on. You know, the feeling that people experience when they stand on the edge like this isn't a fear of falling. It's a fear that they might jump. Well, that's very deep and depressing. Thank you. Yeah, well, I'm a little dark sometimes. All right, well, come down, please, Will. Please, come on. Will. Yeah, fuck it. Woo! Not today! <laughs> It looks like they're gonna make us dumb this shit. What? You watch. How? You'll see. How could they do that? They can't. It's impossible, but they'll figure a way. I've been in this company for 10 years, and I've seen things you wouldn't... <laughs> you wouldn't believe. When all is said and done, they do not lose money. They don't mind if everybody else does, but they don't lose. Will, did you really make two and a half million last year? Uh, sure. <laughs> How did you spend it all? That was quite quickly. You know, you learn to spend what's in your pocket. Two and a half million goes quickly? All right, let's see. So the tax man takes half up front, so you're left with one and a quarter. My mortgage takes another 300 grand. I sent 150 home for my parents, you know, keep them going. So what's that? 800. All right, 800. Spent 150 on a car, about 75 on restaurants, probably 50 on clothes. I put 400 away for a rainy day. That's smart. Yeah, as it turns out, because it looks like the storm's coming. Still got 125. Yeah, well, I did spend $76,520 on hookers, booze, and dances, but mainly hookers. <laughs> 76.5. I was a little shocked initially, but then I realized I could claim most of it back as entertainment. <laughs> it's true. 